Hello, it's your boy David. Off. This will be a day late. You see this on Saturday. This should be on Saturday. You should be watching it on Saturday, unless you're watching it a day late. But this should be up on Saturdays because, first of all, I'm getting a new bathroom, kitchen, toilet. So the work started on the 25th. Uh, people were coming in here to uh, to work on taking stuff apart, basically to like put things in later on. Uh, so there's a fridge next to me right now. There's like a big fridge freezer like right behind me. Microwave, kettle, all in this room. So it's just like I'm a bit. It's a bit crowded in here, full of stuff from the kitchen. Um, but yeah, I went to see Avengers mainly. That's the main reason actually. I went to see Avengers in the city, in a bigger screen. Um, that was great. I came back late. I did a vlog, so I edited, uh, edited that vlog. Edited something else as well, so I put the videos together. And uh, now it's pretty late, it's midnight now. And I'm gonna get this done right now. I'm gonna watch this right now. I can't edit it in time to uh, get it up the next day from the game. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch Avengers again on the 26th, on the Friday. Um, and after I get back from that, I'm going to watch it at a local cinema though. So I'll get back earlier, even earlier than, yesterday, than today. And then I'll come back after seeing it again. And I'll edit it. And this should be up by Saturday. So yeah, what I do know about this, I don't know the score or who wins. But what I do know is there's a the last two minutes. So I know it's close. So that's, that's sort of a spoiler in a way because like... If either team goes far ahead, then I, then I know there's a comeback, so yeah, or, so, or maybe not a comeback, you never know, either team could win, but what I'm saying is if it is like a 30 point lead, you just know it's going to be close anyway, but still, I don't know who wins, so this should be fun. Good team from the Bombers. Oh, nice kick. been pretty tight so far. A lot of contests and tackling. Essen on the back foot but it passed it out really well and they're giving it back to Collingwood now. Oh boy. Is he? Yeah he's burst it. Oh it's still on. Go on. First point of the game. 1-0 Collingwood. Oh, it stayed on the pitch. Shot just now for Essendon. It was going, it was going in, but the bounce did not help. It bounced out and stayed in. 50 metre penalty to Collingwood. I think it was harsh, to be honest. And he's missed. He's missed. <laughs> Justice then, there we go. And as I was saying that, the ball got given away to Barco. This is very scorable. Okay, there's a mark. Is that in? Is that a mark? Yeah, he's been paid. Okay. I think he held it just long enough. Almost dropped it. <laughs> Almost dropped it. It never touched the ground though. Improvised really well there. <laughs> his arm literally just, just stopped it. He didn't even catch it. He did catch it, but his arms literally saved him there. There we go. First goal of the game. Does he now? Jake Stringer. 200. It's not a bad day to get that. <laughs> yeah, happy birthday. The ball's given away. To the goey. Can't be doing that. That's a good goal. Oh yeah, there we go. Go for Collingwood. There's another one. They do a good lead at the moment. There we go, it's been a good first quarter for them. I tell you what, despite the goals, there's been a lot of like good team plays in general from both teams. Good pressure. Um, especially the Pies as well. Pies forced mistakes from Essendon. And yeah, it's been pretty back and forth so far. I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying some of the plays more than the goals really. Oh no.
What an assist from Dugowie. It is a massive first quarter for the Pies. 28 to 6. Dunderbed just one score and it's a goal. The Pies though, it could have been worse as well. Like they could have, they got a few behind them, they probably could have gotten in. Another one. It took too long. It took too long. Yeah, it's a good rundown, it's a good tackle, but. Yeah. Siren sounds. 29 6 to Collingwood at quarter time. Good mark. <laughs> I thought that was in. I thought that was in. It's, it's his the near post. Well, Fee, come on. Goal for the Bombers. Good kick. Oh, it's the post. Ah, oh, Stevenson, that was almost something very special. Mason Cox, got a good mark. And got a good goal. There we go. A fan marked it as well in the crowd. I noticed that. 36-13 to Collingwood. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy Howe, he is the guy you want to mark, Mason Cox as well, and Grundy, this is, <laughs> got some good marks, markers in, in their team, Collingwood. Good team play right here, come on Thomas, he shoots. That was a nice goal. That was a very nice finish from the angle. Wow. I don't know where Mason Cox. 48-15. He scored a harder one last week, mate, to be fair. Joe Danaher, there we go. Goal for Danaher. Needed that pretty badly, obviously. Oh. Big chance for uh, big chance for Essendon. Unlucky, Mr. Stringer, the good goal scorer. Is he gonna get it there? Yes, he is. Yes, just about. They're getting these goals at the right time. I feel. Oh, too many there, too many there. The Bombers are doing well towards the end of this first half. They're doing, they're threatening a lot. Oh, what a mark. Okay, and he's just kicked it off the pitch. Go on, run for it. No, no, no. This is edge of the sea action, I love it. Good mark. 24 seconds to go in the first half. Don 21 behind at the moment. They're doing well. I like how fast paced this is. It's, it's very fast paced, it's very, very exciting. End to end as well. Eight, seven, six. Down to her mark. After the siren. It was more central to be fair, but yeah, you could definitely get it from here, I think. This would be a huge goal. He gets this early 15 behind. Which is great considering where they were like minutes ago. It was quite a big margin at one point. <laughs> I know he can. I think he can, but will he? That's the question. I gave it everything. <laughs> no. Review. I was like, no goal, goal, no goal, no. It's, it's given. 
Oh yeah, yeah, it's a go, it's a go, it's a go. It's a go. <laughs> oh, dad of her. Two great goals in two weeks. What a player. What a, what an end to the first half. Danaher, well taken Mark. There we go, just like that. Oof. With a free kick, maybe? No, never mind. I was gonna say Sars playing well today. Some big tackles and some good plays. Oh. Just free kick to Mason Cox. Controversial to be honest. I don't think it's very harsh. <laughs> He's missed. <laughs> Jordan De Goey. Very score. Okay. Gonna say very scorable. It's not going up behind. It's still on the pitch. That was a that was a bad miss as well. Oh. The pass probably needed that to be fair. It was a Wesson in, uh, in, uh, in the start of that third quarter. 12 minutes to go in the third quarter, 55-39 to Collingwoods. Tipping Wooty. Great play. Great play. Springer's got a mark and uh, he should kick this. He's got a couple harder ones in this game from the same angle, so I think he'll get this in. Never mind. I was going to say, yeah, I thought it messed up the chance for a second. But there we go, this should be a goal. Then another chance as well earlier, there's another chance like a second ago. Which I didn't react to, but Jamie Howe stopped it. He went behind, and now they should get a goal. Can't be missing this one. I love the angle, by the way, from behind the goal with the fans. That's great. Stevenson got a good mark. Is that in? Review it. Ooh. I think that might have been just. He's. I think that's just, just behind. That is ridiculously close. Behind, okay. Barco. There's a goal. Big goal, that's just before three quarter time. Go on. Good play. Go on. Go. The Bombers last few minutes were on the back foot. Pass all, all over him really. Got behind as well. Could have got on a goal. But one counter attack. And the Bombers have got a goal now. Nine points behind. 42 seconds left in that third quarter. Three quarter time. 63-54 to Collingwood. All to play for. They led all day in the grand final as well. Just saying. Wow. That's a good play from Saad. Oh, shoot. Behind. Seven behind. And a good tackle. <laughs> yeah, what on earth? <laughs> Can't be any more happy, unfortunately. <sighs> Behind.
Free kick Essendon. If they get this in, they're three behind. Eight minutes to go in the game. It's definitely scorable. Here we go. Goal. 63-66. Game on. The goey. Goal for the goey. Go on, Joe. Six minutes to go still. They're three behind again. Oh my words. Apparently it's the third highest Anzac Day attendance. 92,241. The highest in 995. The year I was born. 94,825. Good numbers there. Shot. Oh. Go on, Saad. Oh, let's go. Oh. Back to the pies again. Bombers just can't get it down the pitch. They're giving it away to, to Collingwood a few times. And they're giving it away again. Oh. They need one chance. The Bombers need just, just one chance. But they can't even get it out of their own, <laughs> their own half. Wow, less than a minute to go. This is scoreable. I think I'm going to get the goal here, Collingwood, and that'll be game over. Hmm. Interesting. But it's been given, regardless. 36 seconds to go in the game. Run on the clock really well. Um, yeah, time to go. Surely this is him. There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. They missed a few easy ones today, Collingwood. There's not enough time, surely. Six seconds. Just on the halfway line now. Nah. You need Superman to keep from kicking from there. There's a siren. That was a good game. That was a good game. Just about one five. Just about by a few points. Unlucky Essendon. So yeah, that was a good game. Uh, Collingwood played better in the in the first half. Obviously, they started really well. Um, and towards the end of the first half is where Essendon started playing better, and they got a few key goals before half time. And in the third and fourth quarter, they dominated a lot of the, a lot of parts of the game. But they couldn't quite make the comeback, not not quite enough. But they played well yesterday in the second half, for sure, definitely. But uh, yeah, that was a good game, and there were some good plays in there, in general. And uh, yeah, there's a live reaction. There's a second live reaction of the week. It might be, it might be the last, potentially, because I'm not doing any, any Sunday games. For Saturday, it depends, like, how good the games are. So we'll see. We'll see. This is your boy, Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and see ya.